explain yourself, Caitlin? Well, we're just out here wandering around the streets of Grant, just discussing whether we think we did well this morning with our sunrise balloon mission. And we're just not sure if we are happy with it because, I don't know, we got there like an hour early, so I was like literally frozen to my core. Well, she did wear a dress and I sandals. I wore a dress and sandals, but I didn't know it was going to be like seven degrees. Like, and it didn't feel like seven degrees, it felt like minus degrees. A very frozen Kate. Oh, I'm actually frozen, I think I have frostbite. Advice you would have for yourself two hours ago? Um, wear winter clothes, like actual full winter clothes. Anyway, I was uncomfortable to the point where like, as soon as the sun came up, we had to go. Yeah, I was like Kate. Hey, the sun has literally just came up, like it's about to get really good. And she was like, we have to leave. I was like, I thought I had frostbite to the point I thought my toes were gonna fall off. I was actually freaking out. Anyway, so we got like some content, but it wasn't amazing. It was and good to see, but. I just, wanna, I just wanna enjoy it more this time. And I wanna. Which leads us to our current situation. Well, we're just walking around and we found like like our hotel is nice but it doesn't have like the best rooftop and we found like rugs and pillows in like an area of our hotel and we thought oh maybe we could take them out onto a little section of our rooftop but it just isn't amazing since we might not be actually going up in the air balloons because they're like 250 euro per person which for us equates to roughly like eight fifty nine hundred dollars Australian. Australian. And we did we do have a budget of seven hundred and fifty Australian, so it's only going over our budget by a hundred dollars, but we're still like really like I'm not justifying it. I don't care where the Evelyn is. I'm not paying that much money for it. And we are we're aware that like we should just do it like it's a once in a lifetime thing. But we just are not feeling it. It's like, just that too much money. money. It's just too much. So then I thought, okay, I'm gonna Google this famous hotel here that all the Instagrammers go to and see if it's available because it has like the most incredible rooftop and it's available tonight. So she booked it? I haven't booked it yet. I'm literally sitting here like, it's 240 Australian what for one night and it's currently like three o'clock in the afternoon. So Put that in we perspective, can, how much is our current room? Like a hundred. So it's like over double the price. But the only reason I'm considering it is because if she books this, that saves me like $500, $600. It means that we won't do the hot air balloon unless we find a cheaper hot air balloon. I think you should just book it. All right, here we go. Don't mind my really grown out nail from the wedding. <gasps> Goodbye, $240. Shot. We better. We're gonna get up on that rooftop at like 6 a.m. But I'm gonna be like rushed up. Just what if this. the balloons don't go up tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> we just did this, eh? <laughs> I don't know. Here we are. It hasn't completed yet, so I don't know. Can't cancel now. It hasn't completed. It's still doing a circle. I'll let you know how she goes with this dilemma. I'm if she is sitting on a sweet balcony tomorrow morning, you'll know that she's done it. It's only for one night. We're not. It's a one night lash out. I'll keep you so posted. <laughs> what have you done? Hello. Well, the online booking didn't work. We tried three times and it didn't work. So we've come to the actual hotel itself, the Koza Cave Hotel, and we asked if we could book. And he said 150 euro cash, which is cheaper than online. So we're gonna go get 150 euro out and book it. <laughs> <laughs> so saucy. It's like such a nicer location up here too. It's like more secluded, like it's up on the hill. I've seen a drone. All right, let's do this. I'm so excited. Strawberry or lemon? Let's go. Yes, I'm set. 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 Yes,
I was trying to be artsy, so that didn't really work. Hotel and we just did like a sunset shoot. It's so worth it and beautiful. We are so happy we paid 150 euro yeah. to stay here. It's the best place we've stayed on our entire trip to this point. It's good to be spontaneous, folks. Mm. Um, Technically, we have two hotels tonight, yeah. but this one. Yeah, they gave us the junior suite, which is massive. It's got like a living area. Gave it to us a little bit cheaper too, which was yeah. nice. We just got 150 euro cash out in here. Yeah. Was happy but with that. This rooftop's covered in rugs and pillows. It's really cozy, and we've basically got it to ourselves. Yeah. Um. Yeah, give us a bit of a room tour, which we'll show you later. But he was saying that like each room, what used to suit a specific purpose for the community. So our room in particular was where they would make wine. Yeah. And um, heaps of the stuff in there. They just left. Like the terracotta pots and the wine cellar and whatnot is still original. So, mm. and all of the furniture here is handmade by, by his, his uncle. uncle. It's like a family-run hotel. Mm. Cannot recommend this place highly enough, even with the price tag. Like, it's just if it's just worth it. It's probably worth it. Yeah. All right, I wouldn't stay here for a week unless you. Even you're just... if you're going to stay here for one night. Yeah, yeah. just one night. Like us. Mm. I wouldn't double book a hotel <laughs> like we did, but. But we only no. did it because it was spontaneous and we're cutting into our balloon money so we've got a bit left and I'm gonna have a bit of savvy tonight bit of a wine anyway we're just gonna enjoy this sunset and then go find some food and we'll see you bright and early here in the morning
Every penny it's been the most epic morning ever. We've had this rooftop pretty much. Yeah, just a couple of other couples here. It's just been lovely. Cannot complain. I'm just speechless. Like, yeah. And, and even outside of like photography and stuff, just an epic morning to be had. Yeah. Look at the it. The balloons are still up. Look at it. I'll take you on a tour of the roof. This is a room tour of our rooftop. Room tour of the rooftop. <coughs> I got to fly the drone too. <coughs> Look how epic it is. Epic. So that's about, we're gonna go downstairs now. Have brekkie. Have brekkie and then head back over to our other hotel. And we're very happy people. Yeah. Very good morning. Very good wrap up to this escapade that has been Caitlin's hotel hunt. <laughs> we'll touch base later today. Later today we're doing Rugman. I'll explain that later. Rugman. Rugman. All right. Peace out, Cubs get. Hello, Andrea. Hello. I'll turn the ISO up. This is our cave living room. Um, our host was saying that this used to be a wine cellar and they've kept a lot of the original um, pieces in here and all of the wooden furniture is handmade by his uncle. I'll film you. No. No, monologue. Monologue. So you come through the door here. It's a cute curtain to separate it. And this is the bedroom. Big comfy bed. Nice ambient lighting. The floors are heated. It's beautiful. Um, this was our complimentary wine last night that we drank. Uh, so this is what the host was saying is original from the wine cellar. All the terracotta pots and the cutout in the wall. And then through here is our little bathroom, another pretty curtain to separate. And yeah, I've already said that, but yeah, heated tiles. Nice big bathroom. That's me. And these things are heaters. 
so the whole room is nice and toasty because outside's cold and then we've even got this little nook here a little reading nook where we've got our bags at the moment but I had my glass of wine in there last night what do you reckon Brady? yeah easily the best place that you've managed to snag on this yep. trip I mean to be fair the other place is really nice. Yeah, it just doesn't have the rooftop. It just doesn't have a roof. Plus, this like I'm in like my own little nook here. Yeah, like, doesn't have the extra living space or the heated tiles or the heaters. I would nearly say like this room here is probably the size of our other place. Mm, Maybe a little no. bit. No, yeah, smaller. But still, sick. I think this bedroom is probably the size of our. One back there. All right. Let's ring Cindy. Yeah, ring Cindy. Ring Cindy. Come on, Cindy time. And then uh, go and feast. Yep. All right, mum. We're coming at you. We're gonna call you. Bye. This is an epic day because we are in Gallery Ickerman in Gorham, Cappadocia, which is something I've been looking forward to this whole trip. It's just rooms upon rooms of carpets. It's been codenamed Rugman for a whole week. We did have to pay 50 lira to take photos in here, which I completely understand. I'm totally fine with that because it's incredible. It is like an art museum to me, so. The thing that we will have to update on though is that he said per room is timed. He said like five minutes here, five minutes, five minutes, but I don't know if how strict they are with that. Yeah, and I sort of said, can we just take our time? And he was like, yeah, so. Anyway, like, yeah, we'll so 50 lira for here. And then, and then 30. 30 lira for the lamps out the front, which we'll show you as well, but cool. We just finished up at Gallery Ickman, aka Rugman. What do you think? Yeah, I thought it was amazing. It was really beautiful. Everyone was really respectful, like the other people there taking photos. Um, it was a bit confusing, like they sort of said five minutes in this room, five minutes in that room, 20 minutes out the front room. They didn't time anything. But then we, he came and got us out of the inside and said, come, come, come. We were confused, like we were served by like a younger guy and then the owners chimed in and confused us. <laughs> yeah, the young guy just took the 50 lira, went and sat down, gave the money to the owner and then didn't see him for the rest of the time we are in there other than when he came and told us we were to move. Yeah, but then the owners were really friendly and they were like, no, you can share, like, go inside. And we're like, are we allowed? Because we just sort of felt like we were told to get out. So mm. it's a bit confusing. But if you look past that and just look at all the rugs, it's a stunning place. It is like an art gallery. It is really, really cool. Um, 
Yeah, it's definitely not like the experience you get. Led to believe. Yeah. Like, we didn't get lemonade or tea or... Um, the owners didn't come and talk to us and tell us about how he was born in the cave. Like, we didn't get any of that, which is kind of sad, but then again, it's not really what they're there for. They're running a shop. I just want to know, I was going to ask him, like, do you actually sell rugs? <laughs> like, does anyone actually come in here and sell rugs, or does everyone just go in for a photo shoot and leave? Yeah, which is why he probably had to start charging, which I completely understand why he had to charge. Mm. It's just, it was confusing. It's, I don't... it's one of the biggest tourist attractions here. Like, you go down to where we got dropped off, and there's, like, full vendors for photography, and, like, they're advertising their photography in his rug shop. Yeah, like drone footage. Drone footage from in the rug shop. And I'm like, so you're making money off it. I don't blame old mate in the slightest. Oh, I, if that was me, I'd charge people. Yeah. <laughs> but I wouldn't give people a time limit. I'd just go, I don't know. Maybe if it was busy, I would, but, like, it wasn't busy. Yeah, it's a bit like, I don't know, mate. Five bucks each. you got an hour. Have a good time. Yeah, like, an hour would be nice. And, like, plenty of time. Anyway... scared about using my credit card online because we keep getting hacked so I'm yeah. sitting here like what credit card do I use here it is yeah all right no, excuse no, no. my disgusting nail oh wait no oh I just took a photo <laughs> yeah man that's how I intro stuff good okay. evening we actually did it. We came. And then I was looking at the viewfinder the entire time. Ready? Oh no, I don't have a lens cap. This will have to do. Oh. <laughs> it's perfect. I did.